public radio. And what they do is they have a news show every Sunday where they test a panel of comedians to see um, if they know what happened to the headline news. And here's our comedians for the day. All right. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> They warned me that you're going to have to speak into the mic in order to get it on the recording. So we'll do that. And I'll also set this up. Because last time we really got Chris and Josh egging each other on last time we did this. Did you record it last time? Yes, I did. And it's been live ever since. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. So welcome. I am Mark Miller, and that's me up there in one of those pictures up there. I'm from New York City. How many people have heard of New York City? Okay, good. Thanks. We're going to go quick because we got a lot of things to get through, but I want to introduce everybody. Chris, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Where are you from, Chris? Uh, VP of Research at Veracode from Boston. From Boston. Good, man. Uh, Matt Tesaro, I work for the Product Security. I work for the Product Security Group. On the button. Yeah. Uh, I work for the Product Security Group at Rackspace, and I know how to use microphones. And I'm from uh, Texas. Uh, Josh Corman, I'm CTO for Sonatype, and uh, do things like rugged software, and I am the cavalry. All right, good. Let's just move pretty quick. The online resources that I use, everything that you're going to see today was within the last 27 days. And there's a ton of stuff. And these are the resources that I used. These guys have been studying so hard, haven't you, man? <laughs> so here's the rules of the game. The first one is uh, when one of these guys gets a correct answer, they get three points. If they miss it, we subtract two points from their total. If they pass on a question, this is a new one. If you pass on it, you lose one point. All right. If a question is answered incorrectly, the second response, say if Chris misses it and Josh gets it, Josh gets a point for it because he's filtered some of the, the stuff from me. A correct answer from an audience member, if it goes to the audience, you can allocate your two points to any one of these guys. <laughs> All right. So the moderator may arbitrarily give or take away points at any time. <laughs> and Josh knows that's true. <laughs> All right, I need a volunteer. Who would like to be the scorekeeper? Get out, get out, quick. <laughs> I, 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 who's, got, who's got a paper and pencil? Or who's got a computer in front of them open? Who can count? <laughs> <laughs> Who has fingers? Oh, come on. I'll do it, I'll do it. Thank you. Hey. Jerry's got it. You going to stay for the whole session? Yeah. All right, good. All right. Here's the audience participation. You're going to be part of the game to start. There's three questions up here. Just shout out an answer when you know. OK? Name two out of seven podcast series dedicated to security. Any two. Good. Good. It all works. Good. <laughs> That's good. What popular software security company came out with the campaign, put a monster in your corner last week? You want to take that one, Chris? Veracode. Veracode. That was a joke. I thought you'd like that one. <laughs> what movie is reportedly going to get rebooted by the Iron Man 3 director, Shane Black? Josh? Golly, this is going to be a tough day, guys. Look. You know this guy? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So that's how the game's played. These guys are going to get first shot at it. Chris, you want the first question? Sure. So, <laughs> hacks in the news. First of all, how were two ninth graders able to gain full access to system credentials on their local ATM? They got the manual. They got the manual. Give this guy three points. Bank Thank of Montreal. You, Do you know that Winnipeg. story? Winnipeg. <laughs> yes, this is points. Three, three points, points for, for Chris. That's an awesome story if you haven't read it yet. When I get you the deck, I've got the full news story inside the notes view so you can actually read the news story. But these guys read a manual online at lunch and went over to the local ATM and tested it out. <laughs> oh, this is cool. And it, <laughs> full access. <laughs> Matt. Yes. Name two out of five hardware companies that had confirmed cross-site scripting and vulnerabilities within the past month. Oh, month? 
Hardware, hardware companies. companies. Wow. Now I get to debate what's better to just blindly guess or pass. If you pass, you only lose one point. If you blindly guess, you use, lose well, two. I'm just going to go for broke and pity from the audience. Okay. Let's just say. Do you want to use a lifeline? I can use a lifeline. <laughs> yeah. Do I get lifelines? Sure. I have no freaking clue. Somebody help him out. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, man. Yeah, yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow the inflatable thing and float across the ocean and pass. All right. Oh. There you go. Oh, interesting. These guys. Every one of these guys. Let me guess it was in their web uh, front ends. <laughs> <laughs> they were written by interns. I think they're all hosted at Rackspace. <laughs> hey, we just provide the bits. If, if you have bad bits on us, it's on you, right? <laughs> Okay, Josh, you got the mic. The largest uh, denial of service attack in history hit what site in Hong Kong last week? It was the elections. The elections, yes. Give them in three points. That's pretty bad, right? All right. Chris, a flaw has been discovered in the motherboards manufactured by the server manufacturer Supermicro. What was the flaw? You could uh, get the administrator password by making Three a simple points. web Three points. This request. guy's been studying. Wow. 32,000 servers openly broadcasting. I read it, but I didn't remember it. <laughs> I, I slept for four hours last night. <laughs> you know what? I was in the bar at the hotel at 5 this morning. <laughs> give Matt two points. Give Matt two points for that. One. I can vouch for that. Yeah. <laughs> Matt gets two points for being in a bar last night past, past midnight. And a couple right. pubs before that. Right? <laughs> Matt, Columbia University researchers developed a tool called PlayDrone that indexed and analyzed what? Uh, I'm going to guess because I have no clue. Yeah. I, I think that was, was that the one that was flying around and, um, oh, it was, it was pulling, it wasn't doing like a war driving but with the drone or am I incorrect on that? That was a cool one but it's an incorrect. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I got a cool bad answer. Anybody know that one? Go ahead, Chris. Chris got it. <laughs> the Google Play Store was looking for uh, hard-coded credentials. Yes. Inside the applications themselves, hard-coded the credentials. Good. Two point, uh, one point for Chris on that one. There we go. Okay, these are for experts only. This ups the Wait. level a little bit. I, I, I never got my last question. I'm going to give you one right now. He's an expert. <laughs> Millions of LinkedIn users were at risk with what common attack method two weeks ago? Using LinkedIn. <laughs> That's basically the answer, but go ahead. <laughs> Is it the, the Matt DeSero, a.k.a. man in the middle? Yes. Do I get style points for that? <laughs> you know Give Josh four points for style in that one properly. Oh, man. There you Pandering. go. Chris. A recently discovered Trojan, and that doesn't mean uh, a condom. A recently discovered Trojan app encrypts, encrypts files, what type of devices, and asks for ransom, right? Uh, I actually don't know, but how else could it be anything but Android? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Dang, Three. That was for experts? That was a softball. You know what? Take one point away from me. <laughs> if you can't win, take down your opponent. <laughs> okay. Matt, uh, a new powerful banking malware called, I don't even know how to pronounce it, do you? There is a, has emerged. What type of attack does it use? Oh, man in browser. The <laughs> man in the browser. No, yes, I have no idea. Man in the middle attack. Man in the middle, does that work? Yeah. That's, like, that's like those browser objects, right? You get minus three. What do you think? Uh, I think he gets a minus two. Minus five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, in Texas, we use the word browser for middle. <laughs> All right, give me one point for that one. Josh. Good save. Good save, yeah. Zeus has a competitor, Josh. Oh, I know this too. Uh, do I have like a Jeopardy town? Three seconds. <laughs> You want a lifeline to the audience? You get one. Yeah, you. You know what? Audience. <laughs> audience? I'll pass. It's going to pass. What's that? It is not. So, yeah, it's pandemia. Minus, he passed. That's minus one. He passed. Yes, okay. 
You guys enjoying the game? Is it okay? What's the score is actually? What's the score right now? Well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go a little bit longer and then we'll get into the score? <laughs> <laughs> it's like an election, right? The first you look, you look at the He's not writing anything down. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even have a pen. Chris, loophole in what company's payment system allows anyone to double their money endlessly, and this is for real. Would that be PayPal, except it wouldn't actually work in practice? Yes, it would be PayPal. Oh, yeah. Three points. So the score is three to zero to zero right now? <laughs> I'm trying to overflow the buffer in a negative fashion. <laughs> okay, audience participation. I'm going to throw this out. So you guys can relax a bit. First of all, uh, Elon Musk did something unheard of in modern business uh, a couple weeks ago. What was it? He gave up all his patents. He gave up all his patents. Did you guys know that? Yes, if, you, if you're, yes. <laughs> so who do I get to give my points to? Oh, who gets the points? Uh, I'm going to go to Matt. Matt gets three yeah, points for that one. Oh, yes. Plus the, uh, the, the, oh, well. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. I'll give it to Chris. Okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> I, I got this one just for this group because in the United up. States they wouldn't know this one. Uh, who was found not guilty in the phone hacking scandal from the News of the World? Who's gonna, who are you going to give your points to? Chris again. Chris? <laughs> oh, 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 man. He wants to go with the winner. He's not going to answer any of the Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was pretty amazing. And then four of the FBI's top ten cyber criminals are from what country? Iceland. The Vatican, did you say? <laughs> Give Owen one point Irish. for that one. <laughs> oh, you really don't know. Chinese. Chinese, get it, good. Yeah, that's what I would say. Who are you giving your points to? <laughs> oh, who said Chinese? I heard a Chinese. Oh, it was, I'm sorry, I heard his voice first. Also who are you going to give your points to? Yeah. Matt. Matt, who are you going to give your points to? Matt. Oh. <laughs> Matt is now in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three, six points to Matt. Uh, you know. All right. Okay, new section for the guys up here. Really? That's unbelievable. Uh -oh. But you're going to have to believe it because everything up here is true. Scarily true. Who am I with, Chris? It's on Matt. Me now. All right, you ready? A new phishing campaign says it has a tool to remove what vulnerability from your desktop computer? Hold on. <laughs> Dang it. I read that one, but the four hours of sleep just aren't doing me good. It was, uh... LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you about to time out? I have no idea. You're going to pass. I'll pass. pass. Okay. Audience? Good. Who are you going to give your points to? Matt gets, oh. Matt. <laughs> I've got the sympathy vote like nobody's business. I love it. All right. <laughs> Josh. Why did Germany recently drop prosecution of the NSA? I know they did drop prosecution of the NSA. Because um, they're doing the same exact thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Give him five points for that answer. <laughs> <laughs> really, they did because the prosecution says there's no evidence. I'm serious. That's a headline. <laughs> I like Josh's answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris. According to the researcher Robert Graham, of 600K servers scanned, how many are still vulnerable to heart bleed? Say about half? Exactly half. Three points for this man. Guessing. <laughs> I mean, half. Right. Good. That was a quick But of course. <laughs> All right. Oh, the business. How many of these you guys getting? You getting most of them? Business. I'm not seeing a lot. Colin, we should make a card deck out of this. <laughs> Every two weeks. You know, Every two weeks, yeah. <laughs> you, know, I, you, you say that in jest. I'm actually considering doing this online every two weeks or a month and putting it up and let people flip through. Right there. Would you read it? Would you read something like this? Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. I mean, if you could answer it and get a score back, would you pay to read it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't mess with the incentive structure because someone will pay to, to own it, right? Now, this has to do with the Texas restaurants. I'm giving you this one, Matt. 
Oh. What restaurant chain has had a credit card breach since September 2013? Uh, I know David Buster's did, but I don't think that was one of them. I know in Texas they got pwned pretty bad. It was, uh, I don't even know if you guys have this kind of food in Texas. <laughs> uh, so it's not, a, it's not a steak place. It's not a steak and it's not Tex-Mex. <laughs> and it's not Tex-Mex. <laughs> and it's not Mexican food. All right. Can I steal it? It's not Cracker Barrel. It's not Cracker Barrel. Vegetarian, there's actually some of those. We have Austin, right? We have the exception mm -hmm. to the rule. You know that Matt has not answered a single question this entire <laughs> session. <laughs> no. And he's leading the game. But what? I felt really good about it. That's what's important. I'm from America. Two points to Josh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I see your watch so I can tell you the time? <laughs> I'm guessing here, but is it P.F. Chang's? You're not guessing. <laughs> oh, it is P.F. Chang's. <laughs> P.F. Chang's. We do have those. And that was by the sleuth, Brian Krebs. Do you, you guys get that story here? That was right, yeah. That Krebs Go ahead. You wanted to, you wanted to yeah, say Yeah, I mean, something? what I love about this story is in response to the breach, they've gone back to <laughs> sliding the credit cards instead of electronic. Yeah. yeah. Carbon paper. Which is actually somewhat of a rational choice. Like until they get confidence in the new system. Yeah, I'm surprised. I didn't think one of those. I was going to say, yeah, the bus boys are out It requires a physical attack, right? Uh, uh, so it, I'm not saying that's a secure fallback, but it, I understand the instinct. Yeah. Okay. Chris, uh, what's Snowden's former employer developing right now to help the government keep track of you? Well, actually, me. Seriously, me. To keep track of you? Yes, and I'm serious. I'm very confused. <laughs> Give him three points. <laughs> I, I can't beat that. I'm gonna. Does anybody know? I'm gonna pass. You know what this is? It's oh, a Fitbit. They're actually bu building an app for the government for fitness for the do Fitbit. Really? Hmm. But Fitbit doesn't have GPS, does it? I mean, some of them do. Yes. Oh, so with the fancy ones? Location based. Yeah. Special ones. The special ones. I got a crappy one with no GPS. <laughs> you must track all yuppies. Uh, Terrorists, can we wear a Fitbit? Did you just call me a yuppie? <laughs> <laughs> How many points? I mean, does I'm lose? slow, but I'm. <laughs> all right. Matt, how's this one for you? What company was recently put out of business after a major hack of their AWS account? Oh, that was that code. It's got the word code in it. Code. It was a GitHub competitor. Code source? Space. Code space. Thank you. Josh, who are you going to give your points to, Josh? We'll split them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Two points each for those. Two points each. Yeah, as, as, a, uh, as, a, as a Rackspace employee, that made the round. So. <laughs> Did you know that Rackspace is one of the few companies in the United States that has a giant tube that they can slide down to go from floor to floor? Yes. Have you do. done the tube slide? Yeah, oh yeah, many times. They have actually races there in the office so you can go fastest. Yes, this Just is true. a little point. Did, did anyone lose their source code? <laughs> they lost people's source code. Anybody lose in this room? Anybody using that service? Yeah, yeah they, they, they really do lose yeah. the whole thing. It's gone. It's gone. Hackers got in there, they wanted to have ransom, they said no, so they went and hit the, hit the button. What, what surprised me too is they were like, what do you do? Well, just like this magic thing of two accounts, right? Can't you like move data from one to two? Well, the interesting thing for me is they put their backups on the same server where they had the original yeah, data. Yeah, that was, <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. It's like, if, if that's like, yeah. it's like, well, you write it to multiple disks in multiple locations, right? Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing for a cloud, right? It's multiple disks, they're just owned by different accounts or even providers, right? right? They weren't even using two-factor, right? I mean, that was the dumbest. Yeah, you want to say that? Get in on the mic, too, because yeah. they're going to, yeah. No, they weren't even using two-factor for their AWS login. Like, they're running a company on this and single-factor. Ridiculous. Well, didn't PayPal get busted even though they were running two-factor? Uh, two <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, PayPal, there was a PayPal vulnerability. we got to go to three-factor right but, away. Uh, no, it was only, but it was only, it was only in certain parts, right? It was only, yeah. I don't know. All right. Uh, who's got it? Josh? Uh, June 11th, target shareholder decided to do what with seven of ten board members? My non-answer is tar and feather. Um, <laughs> but I think the truth is renew. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Give him three points. 
That was up for vote on June 11th. Seven board members, uh, people had put up to get kicked out, and the shareholders voted them back in just flat across the board. We, we might actually get chip and pin on this. We could actually come to this century and credit cards would be nice. Well, the other, I don't, I don't think this was the article, but also there was an article showing shareholders don't care about breaches. They said customers care about breaches, but shareholders do not care about breaches, which is kind of depressing. Yeah. It's kind of the opposite that it should be. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And a baffling move, TrueCrypt open source crypto project decided <laughs> 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 to what? Chris, you want to just give him the mic? They decided to stop <laughs> developing TrueCrypt. There you go. They just stopped. For, and they haven't given a reason yet. Nobody knows well, why. They like use this to decrypt it and go away. Well, this was their test. They were going to use it to decrypt it. Yeah, don't use BitLocker. Yeah. Because Windows XP is out of maintenance. That was their reason. Public reason. I think they just didn't like feature requests. <laughs> so Chris got three points on that one. You give him that? All right. You guys want to get together and talk? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Reachers, uh, who's got it, Matt? Yeah. Research, you know, you don't have to crane around. I'll read it to you. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just like to know the pain that's coming. Researchers found large global botnets and infected systems. What type of systems were they? And this is this is a powerful statement here. Was this, the, this was the this wasn't the home automation, was it? It was no. the it was the how oh, was an embedded thing. Um, God. Anybody want to help, Matt? What's that? Network drive. Uh, you you just lost him a point. Nice. Anybody else want to? <laughs> yeah. Hey, keep asking. Come on. <laughs> point of sale systems directly in the point of sale system. Oh, really? Yeah. That one I did not. Well, I was all. POS is very appropriate. <laughs> that, that would be a double entendre. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me. Not that I want to help Matt. Okay. <laughs> Josh, what accounts for 98%? What accounts for 98% of the worldwide Google Play revenue? Oh, their revenue, uh, advertisement. Uh, take two points away from him. <laughs> no. Freemium apps. They put them in there, and then they, they put upsells inside the freemium apps. No, the in-game. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 98%. And my daughter has about 50% of that. <laughs> All right. Final round. This is the lightning round. We're going to pop as fast as you want. Excuse Catherine, how, how are you doing on these? Can I holler at you for some of these? Did you get any of these? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> <I, laughs> okay. Okay, you guys ready? Never been more ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys, anybody that answers first gets it. Feedly and Evernote went down from denial of service tax. What did the attackers want? All our bases. <laughs> <laughs> Two points for that. Yes. <laughs> you get points for not answering. Ransom. Ransom. But there's, there's more coming. Keep an eye on that. Name two of five companies that were held for ransom recently with the attackers demanding Bitcoin. Uh, <laughs> Probably the same two. <laughs> <laughs> two of five? Nobody? Anybody want to take a shot? Vimeo? I mean, big ones. Big ones. Yeah. All right. Uh, Robert Scoble called it the stupidest, most addictive app I've ever seen in my life. And this is Robert Scoble, the guy that puts on Google glasses in the shower and takes Flappy pictures Bird. of himself. <laughs> Flappy Bird. <laughs> Flappy Bird. Yes. Uh, anybody know what this is? Yo. 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 Have you ever? Uh, actually, people have found real uses for this. I'll leave it at that. I've got the article on there for you to read. Uh, what's the most pirated show in history? Game of Thrones. 
Audience gets three points on that one. There we go. But which, not which season, which show? <laughs> uh, the red button flaw exposes major vulnerabilities in millions of what? <laughs> you know, Red Button's a comedian in the United States. It's Red Button Club. Really, you don't know this one? Surprising. Everybody's got it at home. Yes, good. Who do you want to give your points to? Matt. Matt. <laughs> I'll act the most happy. Good. Um, according to Network World, what is the next circle of hell for the security com community? Like we need another. <laughs> <laughs> say, we any another. answer is correct at this point. <laughs> Unpatchable systems. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Within 10%, what percentage of security attacks are the result of human error? <laughs> Give the man three points. <laughs> Ninety-five percent. Flat out human error. All right. According to the NSA, how loud was Edward Snowden's whistle? <laughs> That's a trick question because he didn't have a whistle. <laughs> According to the NSA, he never had a whistle. He didn't have anything at all that he sent to them. <laughs> oh, yes. uh, is it? Have you ever seen Brian Williams rap? OK. I was going to put that up here. What European country is used as the NSA's largest listening post? Whoa, who said that? Three, Germany. How many Germans we got in here? We got, holy crap. Is he German? And we're all listening. Yeah, you with the headphones in the back. I get it. <laughs> but there's no evidence that the United States was spying on Germany. <laughs> what were five security apps recently? Why were they booted from the Google Play and Amazon store? This is sick. This no, is, is the ones that did nothing. Good. Three points yes. for Matt. No, security no apps, you pay, you pay $3 for a security app. Yes. And all it says is when you, when you punch the button, it says you're secure. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Just like AV. That's, that's $47 less than desktop AV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three points for Josh. Yeah, Josh gets three hundred. All right. These guys made tens of thousands of dollars on this. That's awesome. Let me know what their morals call. Google shuts down malicious Google Play story, story app. What did the app do? It, that's what I thought when I first saw it, too. It, uh, I looked in two different articles to make sure it was spelled right. You guys don't know this one? Anybody know? Yeah. It's an app that mimics Google Play, but when you use it, it takes your banking credentials and sends it back to the oh, third nice. party. Yeah. So it's one of those things that it <laughs> looks exactly like Google Play. You can't delete it. It will tell you that you're deleting it, but it leaves it on the machine. All right, a Chinese company making smartphones ships the phones with what specialized software pre-installed? I heard That's somebody yours. up here say that. Who Certified said Certified pre-owned. <laughs> and not in the car sense. Yeah. yeah, spyware. Who said that? Who said Where the points go up here? Oh, oh nice. Josh yes. got three. Yeah. You have a friend. <laughs> Oh, What's the what? <laughs> That's twenty fourteen it is. Do you guys know this? Yeah. During the broadcast, this guy's bragging about his control system. And so we say, let's zoom in here. <laughs> you know what? All they did was copy what happened at the Olympics. They did the same thing. They did lead speed, but instead of using a four, they use an A. So almost lead speed. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. So let's tally the score up. Who do you think won? Who do you think won? Uh, <laughs> wow, you guys are optimists. <laughs> you got a 
Okay, as he's tallying that up. So, I still want to lose to Chris. I'll take that. It would be painful. It would be. How close are we to tally here? Did you enjoy that? Because I would really, I'll do this online once a month if you guys would log in and actually, actually do it. Well, the results are pretty unexpected. <laughs> guys I hope you enjoyed that I try to do this at every AppSec we rolled it out at AppSec USA in New York and it was a hit so, so the first round is on Josh what's yes. that <laughs> um, somebody asked me where it would appear uh, if I put it up I am building a community for Nexus for those of you that use Nexus I'm building a Nexus community and I'll be putting it up there and anybody can just log in you don't even have to log in you can you can play it there how's that Perfect. all right so thank you. Enjoy the evening tonight. How many people come to dinner? How many people? That should be nice. I feel like I'm eating at Hogwarts without the owls. All right. So thank you, guys. Absolutely. There you go. All right. You played a good game. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That was actually really good.